Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am going to present Master Production Schedule. Yes, you can find a good amount of document, a detailed videos from many consultant, many service providers. Still, I would like to present it as MPS can be used and how can be used that is fine but when it is be being useful for different type of organization that is the use case i am going to present so the way is always generic but yeah example can be connected to different products here to present my scenario i have captured a very simple product name m1 where r1 and r2 are the raw material which is going to be used and then r1 where i am buying based on mto like on need basis only i am going to buy and then r2 i would like to buy you know just based on min max rule okay where you can see 400 forecast because to produce m11 unit i would require two units of r1 two units of r2 now coming to our mps you can launch it from here and you can add a product from here so my product is m1 which i need to plan and with the bill of material where i will also get master product and bill of material connection over here in this same screen here there are different parameters safety stock target it is not connected directly with mean max rule but a separate safety stock which you want to apply to your production and then minimum to replenish and maximum to replenish that you can plan okay so i want to maintain 10 units of stock every month because my schedule is monthly basis All right so right now actual suggested replenishment forecast and actual demand and forecast stock you can see so in forecast you can always see 10 because that is my bare minimum i want to maintain based on my safety stock and hence r1 and r2 are my raw material which i also require to produce m1 here now you can see in the month of october there is an actual suggested replenishment of 200 units where 10 units are printed over here because 10 is what i need here also i can say 10 i need okay but as 10 is replenished over here which will continue to the future demand in the month of january you can see actual demand is 300 wow let's see why it is 300 when i click here i can see one stock entry or an warehouse operation for out and i can reach to so 60 which is planned to deliver on second i think uh, yeah first february okay so now let's check what is inside so 60 and yeah there is a demand of 300 units and if i go to this reserved item you can see mo1 has already released with 200 units and you don't have 100 units so so 60 you know can be served with this 300 units but it has to be delivered somewhere in the month of yeah january or produce in the month of january and delivered separately so now let's find what is inside our sales order and what is being planned let me check so 60 here where m1 300 units is going to be supplied and my delivery date is yeah 2nd january hence mps is suggesting me like actual demand is 300 now let's see other way around i am just you know duplicating this order and trying to sell to customer 5 where my delivery date will be somewhere on 15 january and i want to supply let's say units as soon as confirm it will schedule a delivery and you can see delivery date is 15 to the stock is not available now if i am going to 
refresh the screen you can see in February actual demand has been printed over here in 30 so based on this future sales forecast you can plan and now according to our history Odoo also gives two parameter here actual demand y minus 1 and actual demand y minus 2 which is nothing but the same duration one year ago same duration two years ago as the current Odoo instance doesn't have history so I will not find anything as a historical data but based on your historical sales historical demand you can plan your present production schedule that is what Odoo gives over here in this right and then if you say available to promise if any stock is available you can promise it likewise you can see 10 was planned in present month so 10 is going to come and here promise to demand is 10 already there because 290 is only I need to produce more and here 10 is in demand because I haven't commit anywhere this 10 unit that's why it is projecting 290 and 20 units based on my 10 units of forecast if I increase this to 500 yeah so you can see this out of 200 which is already being produced I have to produce 500 okay and then I would require material of 1000 plus 1000 units where 400 and 600 has been planned and rest I would require okay so I am just removing it and make it 10 because 10 is my safety stock which is coming over here okay now based on my intuition I am going to plan 100 units in November and let's say 200 units in December so you can see 10 is safety stock 110 over here which is printed by default 100 plus 10 units over here as a safety stock so you can see the forecast based on my actual and suggested replenishment okay meanwhile i am not doing anything but but i am just going into manufacturing and in manufacturing orders I have something in plant like 400 units okay based on like 400 to consume and 200 units is planned because of my min max rule okay and it is going to be scheduled on today and it trigger a purchase order already because R1 is going to be supplied based on my demand only like M2O so I confirm this order and I am going to receive this order and set quantities and validate it. What about second stock like R2? R2 is also not in stock. So let's see what is happening. Yeah, it has generated PO30. Okay, for 600 unit. All right, I am just removing this. So based on my mean max rule, it has triggered one order already. I confirm. I am going to receive the product, set quantities, Oop. it is done, in forecast you can see everything is there, now this will not available. Now I want to just play around with something over here, where one manufacturing order is triggered based on my min max rule from OP7. But before anything happens, I am also planning to produce something in the month of November on 15th of November where I am going to produce 50 units which is planned okay. as soon as I confirm this order it will plan a purchase order with respect to my five days of lead time the order deadline is 11 uh, you know, 5 11 and 15 11 is ex expected arrival to start producing this now what is changing because I have already planned something in future manually and now if i am loading this again you can see 50 has been printed over here which is actually planning and 100 more i have planned okay so this is how it is changing the entire mps based on your manual intervention and automation okay so now based on my you know forecast what i am in need is in december maybe 200 units which is intuition base and then 300 units actual and 30 units actual which i need 
now there is no manufacturing order trigger but yeah my sales orders are confirmed already you can see these two orders which are confirmed one is to be supplied in the month of january and second one is on 15 february okay now if i want to replenish everything from this based on my five months planning i can select everything and if i click on replenish you can see it is turning green how much i need okay extra so as soon as i click on replenish it will trigger my supportive orders so now let's see what Odoo has done so 250 is already planned and on the base of MPS now I want to replenish this and this so 50 so 50 is already like available 250 not available to plan and then based on this december and january and february we need to plan okay so i said replenish one time it will trigger one order of 50 units based on my planning right because i am already producing 200 which doesn't have any demand and then when i want to plan next when i say replenish it will trigger for the month of december also okay so you can see 200 and then again if i want to plan i will select and then if i see you can see the planning in 54 days so that's how odoo is planning in advance based on our entire planning for the month of december also based on our intuition so you can see source is MPS. So that's how you can identify which order is coming from where. I'm just running it again. And then planning it to replenish. So this is 300 actual demand. There is no intuition based demand. And if I want to plan anything, let's see. So Odoo hasn't trigger anything because that order, this particular operations has already planned 200 units in advance based on my main max rule so i have enough stock okay and then based on my this forecasted demand i need to plan my order further okay so i will have enough stock so it will not trigger anything but now let me just go and produce this So this stock is readily available now what it will affect i already have this stock consumed and i have these many items available to sell now if i want to go to my sale order and let's see my first order okay where delivery is planned on 2nd january and you can see 200 units are reserved if i want to deliver early yeah i can do that out of 300 200 has been served and i am creating back order for rest of the quantities and now if i go to my mps again let's see yep i do have 200 units of demand based on my forecast all right because let's see my product m1 and you can see 174 casted based on our planning all right which has to be manufactured i haven't set any reordering rule otherwise it will have triggered that also and 170 is forecast so based on my three different mo's it has accumulated 270 okay and that is what I have so 190 is still missing based on my actual uh, replenishment for the present month okay and for the month of January I will have minus 19 minus 20 because now my supply of 300 reduced to 100 only because 200 I already made a supply of okay so this is now how it works 
now based on my this 100 unit of supply if I want to produce 100 so it will print over here 100 and if I want to release my replenishment of 100 for the month of January I can just click it will confirm 100 of replenishment and my manufacturing order will be triggered 400 units based on my MPS and it will be in 85 days so on 1st January it will start and in 2nd day I can ready and deliver these 100 units ok now if I go back and connect my sales order and this 300 unit of forecast you can see this 100 unit still can be served with my 1st uh, November and 15 November manufacturing order right and then rest 100 order, uh, order that can be served to some other order so this system is intelligent enough to uh, you know uh, suggest what is available right now if, let's say if I am preparing any other order like customer 5 order which is in very future but in between if any customer comes and asking for the same product and I am making my commitment like delivery has to be done on 10th November which is uh, earlier than any other planning and I am planning to supply 100 units where you can see 100 units are not available based on my future commitment ok and then let's see how the system is planned so system is automatically generated 50 and allocated to order number 62 rather than 60 so you can see Odoo is intelligent enough whichever comes early it can suggest to replenish based on the demand and your manufacturing planning so 60 has been pushed to 1st December order ok so this is how I think you can see entire manufacturing forecast also ok this is a nice screen where you can see availability of material and everything and then based on your production planning you can see your purchase order also in next 24 days there is a purchase uh, which is planned five days earlier based on our you know uh, lead time of the raw material okay and then based on our inventory it will also plan all the purchase orders all right so this is all planned based on my you know manufacturing cycle r1 and everything now as soon as you know my this vendor two three days ago that is a different orders i think so and then inventory if i run this scheduler it will plan purchase of my raw material different raw material also so let's see how it goes so here everything is there and in my product r2 is there so i already have 200 units on hand based on my purchase and that's how this entire manufacturing cycle will work based on my mps hope this example is not critical but yeah it has some value addition to plan your future orders monthly orders or weekly orders based on your mo hope uh, hope this will help many consultant many people to use mps in real time and suggest to their customer also who are planning on monthly and weekly basis thank you very much